Welcome back to Mojo Grip, Mike here. Today we're checking out five awesome bush planes available in GA today. Bush planes are best known for their short takeoff and landing capabilities. And in the experimental world, these are some of the most affordable airplanes you can get your hands on. The first plane on the list is the Kit Fox, which really needs no introduction. If you're an aviation enthusiast, you probably know about this aircraft already. The Kit Fox is one of the best-selling bush planes in the market today. The current generation of the Kit Fox is the S7, comes in three different models. From the entry level, you have the Super Sport, and on the high end, you have the STI. All models of the Kit Fox can be built either as a light sport aircraft or an experimental aircraft. The entry model uses a Rotax 912 engine, and that engine will boost you off the ground at less than 300 feet. On takeoff, you're climbing at 1300 feet per minute. Your cruise speed in the Super Sport is around 120 miles per hour. And depending on the model you build, you've got useful load between 550 and 800 pounds. If you decide to opt for the top of the line in the STI, you're still using the same body frame, but what you get with the STI, larger wings. And with the bigger wings also comes a bigger engine. The best part about building an experimental aircraft is that you have several different options for your engine. You may opt for the Rotax 915, a Titan engine, or a Lycoming 235. And with the bigger engine also comes better performance. Within 150 feet, you're off the ground and expect your climb rate around 2,000 feet per minute. But what you get in a higher climb rate, you lose in your cruise speed. The STI, believe it or not, cruises 20 miles per hour less than your standard Super Sport. But then again, you're not flying these bush planes because you want to go fast. You're flying them because you want to take off from anywhere. The Kit Fox kit starts around $30,000. And if you were to build this plane on your own, you're looking at a price tag of about $75,000. Next, we have the Bushcat. The Bushcat is a South African designed aircraft, and this airplane was designed to maneuver and fly its way through the African jungle. The Bushcat comes in both standard tricycle landing gear, and you can have it fitted with tail wheels. Just like the Kit Fox, you can have this airplane built either as a light sport or as an experimental aircraft. And if you go the experimental route, you have your choices of engine that you can choose from. The standard engine that comes with the Bushcat is the Rotax 912 engine. And that will get you in the air in less than 300 feet. Expect cruise speeds around 120 miles per hour. The useful load in the Bushcat is 530 pounds. And you can fly over 650 miles of full tanks. The Bushcat has a steel airframe and then you've got a nylon cover over the airplane. Kits for this aircraft stats at only $27,000. If you decide to build on your own, expect to spend roughly $70,000 for a finished airplane. And if you have the factory build one for you, you're looking at about $80,000. The best part about the Bushcat is, you can build one in about 250 hours. Next we have the Sling TSI High Wing. Consider the TSI High Wing as a current code name, as this aircraft is not readily available yet. But if you're familiar with the airplane factory, they build some amazing light aircraft that are also economical. And the TSI High Wing will have similar performance as the current low wing Sling TSI. Unlike the other airplanes we've listed so far, the TSI High Wing will be a four place aircraft. The power plant is a Rotax 915 engine, and with that you have 140 horsepower, your rate of climb at least 1000 feet per minute. The useful load on the TSI high wing will also match the current TSI at 1000 pounds, and expect to fly over 800 miles with full tanks. The TSI high wing may not have the same stow capabilities as the other bush planes on this list, but what you'll get with this aircraft is more load and better speeds when you're cruising at 150 miles per hour. This airplane will only be available as an experimental aircraft. The expected price for the kit between $50,000 and $60,000. Next we have the Super Stole Excel from Just Aircraft. 
The Super Stoll XL is another great option for all pilots. Amazing stow capabilities and you can build on either as a light sport or an experimental aircraft. The standard Super Stow comes with the 100 horsepower Rotax engine that puts you in the light sport category. But if you want much better performance, you opt in for a bigger engine. Currently you can have your choice of power plant for the Excel model, but the one we featured on this channel before is built around a 180 horsepower Titan engine. And with that expect your takeoff and landing within 300 feet, you're climbing at 1000 feet per minute, and your cruise speed is around 100 miles per hour. The best feature on the Super Stoll XL is the slates on the wings. Those large wings allow you to fly really, really slow. When I personally flew this aircraft last year, we saw speeds at 25 miles per hour. That's right, this airplane can fly that slow. The Super Stoll is a two-seater, and if you opt for the Excel model, you can have up to a thousand pounds for your useful load. You're not going anywhere fast in this airplane, but what you get is a great scenery aircraft where you can just fly nice and slow, low to the ground. Price for the kit starts at $27,000, and for a finished airplane, you're looking at closer to $80,000. And we've saved the best for last. The last plane on this list is the Draco. Draco is an experimental airplane that was actually built off of a certified platform called the Wilga 2000. The original aircraft comes with the Lycoming 300 horsepower piston engine. But Draco in all of its glory was improved to a 680 shaft horsepower turbine engine. More than double the power plant and performance. Draco would take off at only 400 feet and land at 280 feet. And if you thought climbing at 2000 feet a minute was amazing, Draco would climb at over 4000 feet a minute. At 16,000 feet, this aircraft would cruise at 180 miles per hour but expect normal cruise speeds around 115 miles per hour. This is also one of the best part of having a turbine engine. You can fly at really high altitudes. Since Draco is a complete out of the box build, we can't really put a price tag on this airplane. But if you were looking to build one just as good, you're looking at over a million dollars because the engine alone will cost you a few hundred thousand dollars. And that is it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please go ahead and give a thumbs up. And if this is your first time, be sure to subscribe to Mojo Grip. Thank you so much for watching. Again, my name is Mike, and I will catch you on the next video.